What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Ron Panda here. Am I projecting on you? Well, I'm about to with this multimedia LED projector. It's by Perferdiki, I think is the title. And basically, I was really curious about this particular projector because it advertised pretty high lumens. Now, sometimes uh, some companies use lumens and lux interchangeably. It does come with the user manual here. I'm not sure that we'll need it. And so, you know, if this really were 3000 plus lumens, that would be pretty awesome for a projector that I could use for business as well as pleasure. And uh, I'm really hoping that it looks pretty good. So we will test that out and, and uh, see what it does. But uh, they are just kind of a little bit of plug and play and they're really kind of simple to set up. So I really like them. But if nothing else, you know, they can just be kind of entertaining. You can use them for uh, sharing some home videos and watching some things in your bed or uh, take it on a trip and, and share a movie with your friends. Hey, so here's the remote. I just showed it to you. It's all plastic. It's very light. It looks like it runs on a couple of AAA batteries that would go on the back here. And so not included. And you can see here, it's pretty slim. Uh, we've got all the buttons that you need to access all the controls on the, the um, projector. In most cases, I just use the control pad on the projector because all I do is sometimes plug into the HDMI port and just uh, mirror whatever it's showing. So you've got that. You also have a, uh, a HDMI cable, which I'm actually surprised at. A lot of these projectors don't come with that. We have VGA cable here. We have power cord, same thing that uh, most uh, television monitors will use. And then we also have some RCA cables right here as well. So, you know, if you need to connect it to some old school stuff, DVD player, VHS player. <laughs> oh, remember what those were? And now let's just unbox the most important piece here, the projector itself. And I can see the company name on it. So I'm gonna show it to you because you may think I have a list, but I think I was pronouncing it right. Preferred key, I guess. Uh, it does come in white and black, I believe. I think I, I selected this uh, particular color just because it blends in a little bit. As you can see, it's about the size of a sheet of paper, you know, a notepad in terms of overall dimensions. But, uh, you know, height wise, it's probably about five inches thick here, four inches, maybe five inches at its peak. It's kind of curved right there. And we have lots of venting, open vents on everything. We have a lens right here. Looks like we've got the ability to rotate it. I'm assuming that's either focus or zoom, we'll find out. And then on this side, we have a bunch of other ports, two USB ports right there. So you could plug in a flash drive with media files, presumably. Uh, power cable goes in here. We have a physical power button uh, off and on. We have uh, HDMI ports right here. Here's all your RCA and uh, individual plugs and the VGA plug right there. We also have feet right here with little foam pads on them. And then up here in the front, we have kind of the Bigfoot, which, not the Sasquatch, but you can see this little button here should release it. I think it's gonna be gravity fed. So that'll give you the ability to uh, raise it up. I'm not sure exactly how we keystone it quite yet, but looks like we might be able to do it through the control panel. You've got uh, navigation and select buttons here. We have uh, a back button, power button, so you can leave it plugged in. And then looks like a menu and maybe a forward button right there. Okay, so we've got all that. And all we really have to do is get this thing set up. I've got my uh, drop projectors or projector screen drop set up here about 10 feet away. So I'm gonna project on that. All right, guys, so I've got it plugged in here and uh, you know, I've just got my film sheet draped up here. So don't mind the wrinkles. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't figure out if it keystones or not but it does focus, that ring on the lens focuses it. And what I will tell you, I've got it connected to my iPhone right now, just via the AV adapter and an HDMI cable. And this is pretty sweet. I have three uh, 1200 lumen light bulbs, LED light bulbs right above me. And I can see this just fine. Uh, Clarity is good. I would call it either 720p or 1080p you know, resolution, probably 720p is kind of what I'm I'm thinking right now. This isn't a big picture yet, we'll, we'll get there. But um, I'm just really impressed with the light behind me uh, that should kind of wash out this picture. So again, I, I can't tell you exactly 
what the lumen rating is, but in terms of actual brightness and contrast, I'm really, really impressed with it. So first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit uh, something here. Let's, uh, let's take a look at one of my videos so I don't infringe on anyone's copyrights. We're gonna hit uh, the commercial here and that's all right. Um, and again, there is audio playing out of the speaker of the projector here, so that's for sure. Uh, you could absolutely play with that. Um, you know, in most cases, I think probably improving the audio is something that makes a lot of sense. Have a Bluetooth speaker, have it plugged into an external speaker. And right now, I'm just really impressed by this. You know, the colors are a little washed out, but I think it's mostly this light. And you know, maybe a little bit of a, a little bit of a kind of a, 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 a reddish shift to things right now. But I'm going to go ahead and turn off this light. You can hear my voice through there too. And just take a look at what we've got here. And man, I'm really impressed with this. This is a lightweight projector. And usually these things, the resolutions isn't great. Uh, the uh, brightness isn't great. And this is great. I'm really, really impressed with this. So regardless of what it advertises, um, I think this is super, super bright. I'm gonna just turn on the lights here. It's gonna take a second for the camera to adjust to that. But this is with the light on, right? And I'm about 10 feet away, and the projector is just a, a few feet in front of me here. But man, I think this is phenomenal. So we're kind of on our front, not on a, we're kind of on a dull part of the video here. But man, I'm kind of blown away by this perfect dicky. Um, uh, projector. Would you use it for a home theater? I mean, you could if you wanted to kind of do a really bargain basement home theater setup, but I'm thinking this thing is going to come with me on the road. I can show PowerPoints. I can share video clips. I can use it for training. I can use it to communicate in meetings, what have you, and just because of its small size and it's really low cost. And if I wanted to go on a trip, share family movies, share family videos, uh, be able to entertain people in a cabin or even a hotel room, this would be great. Uh, I really think this is pretty awesome. I would say it's probably about a 60 inch picture right now with the projector maybe being eight, nine, 10 feet away from the screen. And so I think you could really scale this sucker up and if you had a, just a white wall to project it on, I think it would look good. Man, take a look at this. I, I'm, I'm sold on it. I'm really, really impressed with it and I'm really, really impressed with what projector quality has um, come to based on the price points that projectors are selling at right now. So I will put a, li uh, yeah, I'll put a link to this one in the description below. I would definitely give this a thumbs up. Man, this has definitely surprised me the upside. Check it out. Peter Von Panda, out.